The Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite Series, GOES, is essential to continuous observation of Earth's environment and plays a key role for weather monitoring, warning, and forecast operations in the United States and Western Hemisphere. Spacecraft and ground support work together to accomplish the GOES mission of providing data and imagery to public, commercial, educational, and scientific user communities. The GOES-R mission is expected to improve the quality and timeliness of information, enhancing public safety, protecting lives, property and the environment, improving economic security, and promoting science, education, and research. NOAA operates two active GOES satellites to provide coverage of most of the Western Hemisphere. A third on-orbit spare is available in case of sudden breakdowns. Together, these satellites provide 24-hour weather products, monitor the sun and space environment, receive and transmit search and rescue data, and relay data from more than 20,000 land, water, ship, and aircraft platforms that collect information about the weather and environment. The next generation GOES-R satellites will usher in a new era for U.S. geostationary environmental remote sensing. With launch of the first satellite expected in 2015, the GOES-R satellites will begin a planned 10-year period of dedicated service to improve the quality and timeliness of weather and other environmental observations. Geostationary and polar orbiting satellites each have their own viewing strengths and limitations. What exactly is the difference between a polar and a geosynchronous orbit? In a geosynchronous orbit, satellites are positioned over the equator at an altitude of about 36,000 kilometers or 22,300 miles above Earth's surface. They orbit at the same speed as the Earth's rotation, making them appear to stand still. This allows geostationary satellites to view a feature of interest frequently and consistently making the GOES system extremely useful for observing hazards like thunderstorms, hurricanes, fires, volcanic eruptions, and dust storms. A polar orbit is quite different. These satellites fly at much lower altitudes than their geostationary counterparts, typically about 850 kilometers or 530 miles above Earth's surface, and pass close to Earth's poles. A single polar orbiting satellite observes the entire globe in 12 hours, viewing most locations at least twice daily. Overlap by consecutive orbits makes high latitude coverage more frequent, while the relatively infrequent coverage compared to geostationary satellites makes watching rapidly evolving events harder, the global coverage makes the data extremely useful for computer models that forecast weather and climate variations. Important comparisons between geostationary and polar orbiting satellites are summarized in this table. The instruments on the GOES-R satellite series will produce more than 50 times the information provided by the current GOES system and will offer a wide variety of unique observations of the environment, with particular emphasis on hazardous weather in the Western Hemisphere and space weather impacts. Also on board GOES-R will be improved communication systems with higher data rates to ensure a continuous and reliable flow of remote sensing products and relay of other environmental and emergency services information critical to a broad range of users and interests. The instrument packages on board the GOES-R satellites are the 16-channel Advanced Baseline Imager, ABI, for viewing of Earth's clouds, atmosphere, and surface the Geostationary Lightning Mapper, GLM, for monitoring hemispheric lightning flashes, the Extreme Ultraviolet and X-ray Sensor Irradiance Suite, EXIS, for measuring solar particles, and the Solar Ultraviolet Imager, SUVI, for imaging the sun, the Space Environment Monitoring Suite that includes the Space Environment in Situ Suite, SICE, and magnetometer, MAG, for monitoring Earth's space environment and geomagnetic storms. The unique payload services suite that includes the GOES Rebroadcast Data Service, or GRB, for transmitting real-time data products to users. The Low-Rate Information Transmission Service, LRIT, for providing data from a variety of satellites and other environmental data to users. The Emergency Manager's Weather Information Network, MWIN, containing data specifically to meet the needs of emergency managers. The Data Collection System, 
DCS for relaying environmental data from remotely located platforms, and the Search and Rescue Satellite Aided Tracking Service, SARSAT, to help locate mariners, aviators, and others in distress. The Advanced Baseline Imager, ABI, is a 16-channel imager that will provide better products for forecasting, severe weather warning, numerical weather prediction, and climate and environmental monitoring. The ABI improves on the current GOES imager, GOES 8 through 12, including NOP, with four times higher spatial resolution, five times faster imaging, increased spectral coverage due to 3.2 times more channels, and more accurate measurements for observing subtle features. Imagery at visible, near-infrared, and infrared wavelengths, along with associated products, will be produced for most of the Western Hemisphere every 15 minutes, compared to the current three-hour interval. In the contiguous United States, the viewing interval will shrink from the current 15 minutes to every five minutes, and for a movable smaller-scale area during severe weather, and other environmental emergencies, imagery and a subset of products will be available every 30 seconds. As the two-hour ABI simulation shows here, all three imaging modes will be producing product sets at the same time. Studies have estimated that the economic value of the potential benefits of the ABI over the current imagers exceeds $4 billion. The Geostationary Lightning Mapper GLM will provide continuous lightning measurements over a large portion of the Western Hemisphere. Mapping total lightning, cloud to cloud, and cloud to ground, flash rates and trends. GLM data will improve local forecasts and warnings of severe weather and air quality, and provide new data for studies of regional climate and climate change. Current GOES observations of solar activity and Earth's space environment contribute to NOAA's operations to continuously monitor and forecast space weather. GOES-R will carry three instruments to ensure this continues. GOES-R's new capabilities will improve reports, alerts, warnings, and forecasts of potentially dangerous events like solar flares, geomagnetic storms, and other solar disturbances. For monitoring the sun, GOES-R will carry the SUVI, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, and the EXIS, Extreme Ultraviolet and X-ray Irradiance Suite. SUVI generates images of the full solar disk every minute to detect abnormal activity and help provide early warning of solar events, while EXIS will continuously monitor solar output. The Space Environment in Situ Suite, SICE, and Magnetometer, MAG, Onboard goes R will monitor Earth's space environment by continuously measuring the effect of solar activity on the Earth's atmosphere, improving forecasts and alerts of geomagnetic storms. The GOES-R satellite system is based on an end-to-end -end architecture to ensure that observations and products are available to all users consistently and in a timely fashion. Satellite instruments, spacecraft, and onboard communication systems make up the space segment and work in close coordination with systems on the ground. The GOES-R ground segment keeps spacecraft systems healthy, turns observations into products, archives data, and ensures reliable access to environmental products. Vital to the success of the GOES-R mission are the following spacecraft and ground-based services. Rebroadcast of GOES-R products to users with direct readout systems via the GOES-R rebroadcast GRB service. Availability of the full suite of GOES-R products, both real-time and archived, through the GOES-R access system. Dissemination of meteorological and environmental data sets, as well as select satellite imagery from GOES, polar orbiting, and other domestic and foreign meteorological satellites via the Digital Low-Rate Information Transmission System, LRIT. Broadcast of specialized products to emergency managers using the Emergency Managers Weather Information Network, MWIN, dissemination system. Collection and relay of data from remotely located environmental platforms through the Data Collection System, DCS. 
search and rescue support to locate mariners, aviators, and others in distress via the Search and Rescue Satellite Aided Tracking Service, SARSAT. Communication services specifically for NOAA and other civilian marine and aviation operations. As mentioned earlier, GOES and polar orbiting satellites have their own strengths and limitations. GOES satellites can keep a close eye on rapidly changing weather conditions, while polar orbiting satellites are better equipped for vertical atmospheric profiling, observing atmospheric constituents, measuring precipitation, and seeing land and ocean features in finer detail. By leveraging the capabilities of GOES and polar orbiting satellites, tomorrow's integrated satellite system will improve and expand observations to more effectively observe a quickly changing environment. A number of products already take advantage of the complementary observing capabilities that GOES and polar orbiting satellites offer. These products are used for monitoring and forecasting of precipitation, atmospheric moisture and temperature, winter storms, tropical cyclones, and hydrologic applications, monitoring of the polar regions, land and ocean surface properties, volcanic eruptions, atmospheric aerosols, including dust and trace gases, air quality, climate variability and change, and space weather, and providing data to computer forecast models applied to weather, climate, air quality, and other environmental prediction efforts. Both geostationary and polar orbiting environmental satellites are part of a growing and increasingly integrated Global Earth Observation System of Systems, or GEOS. GEOS is an international effort that coordinates efforts to provide information to global users for monitoring Earth's environment, resources, weather and climate for societal benefits, and in support of sustainable development. The satellites in the space component of GEOS are also important contributors to the Global Observing System, GOS. GOS is a program supported by the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, that helps countries around the world share their weather, climate, and related environmental observations. These observations support weather analyses, forecasts, advisories and warnings, climate monitoring, and related activities for meteorological and other environmental services worldwide. As with the current GOES satellites, the GOES-R series will be an important contributor to both GEOS and GOS observing systems, providing imagery and data for the needs of weather and other environmental services across much of the Western Hemisphere.